Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to In The Know. I'm Casey Ferran, your host. And today I have the pleasure of talking to Jessica Adams. Now, Jessica and I go way back. We were like in high school, middle school, elementary school together. So um, I know a lot about her past, but I haven't been able to catch up with her in a while. But I saw she is actually promoting a new show she's on called Ultimate Tag. So if you can't imagine what the show's about by the name, Ultimate Tag, Jessica, tell us a little bit about what this show is. So the show is a high octane, high competition, competitive show where the object of the game is to not get caught. That is the object. While you're going through different obstacles, while people are chasing after you, um, that is the, the main object of the game. So I did get a chance to look at some of the previews and I saw it's a lot like this show Gladiator from back in the day when we were growing up. It was basically like these big, huge muscle people, muscle men, muscle women chasing non-athletic people around an obstacle course. Now I know you're an athlete, like you grew up playing basketball, I think softball too as well. Mm -hmm. um, what was it like for you to be on this show as an athlete competing against other people who you know are really just out to hurt you? So I would have to say that this was probably one of the most intense things that I've ever done in my life. Coming from a background of basketball and being athletic, it is nothing compared to ultimate tag because it's a lot of parkour. You are doing upper body things. You are running. And now mind you, you're getting chased after. So not only are you going through all of these different obstacles, you're getting chased after. And I don't know about you, but I don't like getting chased at, especially going through different obstacles. The show premieres May 20th and you're in episode one. Um, yes. can you tell us anything about how you did. <laughs> um, not quite yet. You'd have to watch <laughs> the show to see uh, everything that, you know, it entailed and everything and how far I got. Maybe I got far and maybe I didn't. I mean, I have seen a promo or two and there seems to be a part where you're like reaching and extending yourself to touch the button. And yes. there's one of those people who's like right on your tail. I guess we'll have to find out <laughs> on the 20th if you actually touch the button. If I actually touch the button, yep, I'll be able to find out too. <laughs> <laughs> now I know you said you guys filmed this show over a year ago. Mm -hmm. And it's just coming out. I mean, are you excited to see what happens? I am very excited to see what happened. I'm still, you know, I, I still have anxiety because you want to, you know, you don't know how you're going to be portrayed. You don't know what's going to happen. Um, but I'm excited because it's been, you know, it's been a year. I'm excited to see everyone see what I had a chance to experience myself. How did you even get involved in this? Because I know um, you moved to LA two years ago and have been working as a personal trainer, but how did they even, did you audition? How'd you get involved? Um, someone reached out to me and asked me would I be interested in competing on a show and I had no idea it was this. And we went from there. Just to talk a little bit about you personally, talk about what you're doing out there in LA. What kind of prompted you to take this leap to move to LA two years ago? So what I did was I knew that I wanted to move to California. It's been, it had been years since I was trying to get to California. I just never did it because I was afraid. And so when I reached 30, like right before my 30th birthday, I'm like, I'm going to take this leap of faith mm -hmm. and I'm going to move to California. I said, what do I have to lose? And I did it. And so mm -hmm. I moved out here because I wanted to grow in the fitness community, grow in my fitness profession and learn more about myself and um, just push it to the limit as far as getting as much knowledge as I can to become a better fitness professional. It looks like you're doing amazing. I know I moved to LA for a month in like <laughs> 2018. I was like, I'm going to LA. I went for a month and I came back home. That's all I could afford. <laughs> yes, it was crazy. crazy expensive out here. Yeah, so you had to take on a second job too. I did have to take on a second job, yes. So right now, currently I am a, uh, with personal training, I am a behavior interventionist at a high school. Do you try out some of your uh, tagged moves on your kids? <laughs> never. <laughs> never. But they don't play with me. But never. I love it. <laughs> well, look, I'm so proud of you. I'm excited to see your show. Of course, again, if anybody wants to tune in, it's coming on Fox, Fox Network um, at, was it May 20th, 8 Central. So 8 o'clock here in New Orleans, if anybody wants to tune in. Um, anything else you want to add or make sure people know how to follow you? 
Um, yeah, so my Instagram is Jess, J-E-S-S-R-E-N-E-E-24. All right, Jess, thanks so much for joining me, and we're looking forward to cheering you on. Thank you, Casey. <laughs>